So I need to clean the bunny litter boxes. It's that time again. Um, I think people always ask me like how often I clean the litter boxes and I honestly don't know. I just go by like how it looks. Today it looks pretty bad. Um, my rabbits do have a habit of pulling all of the hay into the litter box because I think they like to eat it out of the litter box for fun. So <laughs> there's a lot of hay in there. Um, but a lot of the times the litter underneath is like still fresh. But I'm just going to do a complete change today and fill up all of their hay. Um, I haven't decided if I'm cleaning the entire room yet or if I'm just doing the litter boxes today. I tend to do like one thing at a time just because, as you can tell, <laughs> I'm already out of breath just talking. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just like do the floor area today. I don't know if you can see Sterling and Ebony are chilling on their little shelf. Hey, bud. Hey, what's the matter? You look scared. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the litter boxes and yeah, chore time. was sent this Oxbow Eco Straw Wheat Straw Litter. There, I don't know if you can see that. Um, to test out and see how it is. So I've got half the litter box. One is full of pine, the other one is half pine. And I'm gonna put the other half with this. And I don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes. I've never tried this litter before. It smells like Okay, you know, it doesn't smell that great, but it kind of smells like earthy, grassy, so that's interesting. I'm gonna dump that in there. So this is the pine litter on the right side, and then we have the eco straw over here. Um, it's a lot smaller um, and greener than the pine pellets, so I don't know. I guess we'll see like how it compares absorbency wise. Um, I don't know if I'll ever use it long term or not, but figured since it's in my closet and I ran out of <laughs> pine pellets, we'll try that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put Carefresh on top of everything and make sure it's nice and soft for the elderly. Hello, Bubbles, are you the elderly? Ebony is 10 years old. Uh, she turned 10 in July. I kind of missed it because of like the whole moving thing. Hi, Ebony. So she's pretty old now, so want to make sure everything's nice and comfy for her. Um, she hasn't really shown any signs of aging besides a little bit of arthritis, but she's still doing pretty good. Do not pee in that corner, please. She's like, you have my litter boxes. I will pee wherever I want. <laughs> So I feel like I'm running out of everything, which is fine because I'm moving soon, but I ran out of Carefresh, so I'm gonna be using this. Uh, we sell this on 101 Rabbits, if you guys are interested. Uh, so we sell Carefresh, but we also sell this. This is the Oxbow, Oxbow um, paper bedding. Uh, the main difference is that this is a lot softer than Carefresh, uh, so I like to use it with like if a rabbit was really disabled or really had bad sore hocks, I would probably use this over Carefresh. Uh, the reason I don't prefer it is it is messier, so it's very light and fluffy, so it kind of can spread around the floor a little bit more, but when Lulu had really bad mobility and sore hocks, um, I chose Pure Comfort over Carefresh, personally. So. Um, yeah, they're both great products, kind of just personal preference. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this in the other litter box 
because I ran out of care for <laughs> These litter boxes are very interesting this week. So this is Carefresh. Um, as you can see, I mean, a lot of you are probably familiar. Um, it's not necessarily soft to the feel. Like when you feel it, it's not necessarily soft, but it does provide cushion. So like when you step on it, it gives like a buoyancy, I guess you could say, which is what you want to help prevent the, you know, development of sore hocks. Um, because in the wild, rabbits hop on grass, which is very buoyancy or whatever. So you wanna mimic that, um, which is why I always put Carefresh over pelleted litter. Um, so that's why I really like Carefresh. But the good thing about the Pure and Comfort um, from Oxbow is when you touch it, it is soft. So it's soft to the feel. So if your rabbit actively has you know, sore hocks or uh, mobility challenges. This is a really good option. It also is very smushy, like extra smushy. So um, this one's definitely the softer option, but it it is um, a lot messier than Carefresh. Carefresh tends to stick and hold in place, whereas this can kind of get caught in their feet and fly all over. So, but yeah, this one is really soft and great option. Uh, for rabbits with um, mobility problems. So I think I'm going to redo their hidey house area because as you can see, they've been chewing um, and everything's just kind of crazy. These are the new hidey houses we have. I don't know if you guys have um, seen them, but they're uh, kitty casas, I think they're called. Yeah, you can see that, kitty casa. Um, I love them, but I don't think I want them placed like this. So I think I'm just gonna redo everything and uh, put them in like, you know, a better layout. So, who's trying to come in? No, you just made the hay fall. Do not come in here. How did you get over the fence? <laughs> Go away. Okay, so anyways, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do is just like move all the hidey houses, vacuum, and then like put them back in place. I don't know how I'm gonna set them up, but we'll just go ahead and see. I just kind of wanted to show you what you can do with them. So you can stack them like this. There we go. If I can figure this out. Um, so they're made to stack like this, which is super cute. Um, so they're pretty sturdy. They're not going to go anywhere. Um, the reason that I don't stack mine is I have a 10 year old rabbit who thinks she's a four year old rabbit and she tries to launch herself off of everything and it scares the crap out of me. Um, so if I had younger rabbits, I would definitely stack them. Um, you can also stack them like this. Um, they're a little bit less sturdy that way since they're only on each other, um, but they do have these little holes. Probably can't see them, but they do have holes here so you could uh, zip tie them together if you wanted um, like more support um, if you were stacking them. But I'm not gonna stack them just because, I mean, Sterling's six and a half, which isn't super old, but Ebony's 10, so <laughs> that's not the best. Also, the white does kind of show everything, and normally I would spray it with vinegar and water to clean it, but I'm out of vinegar and water, and I'm out of all vinegar in my house. So today is just, the episode of being out of everything. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I just want to show you that you can stack them. You can like turn them around, have this cool design, but I'm just gonna keep mine all one level just because of my elderly rabbits. But I want to go ahead and figure out the best design in my room to put them. But it's so difficult to decide because I am so indecisive, so. Let's see here. 
wonder if I'm just gonna do that because that looks really nice. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So they're not all connected because of these posts here. I wanted to do like a straight line, but here they have a little run through. So there's holes on this side and this side. Also all the tops have holes in it. So they can go that way. Um, and then back in this corner, I turned one sideways so they can jump in there and then jump this way and that way. Let's see if Sterling is gonna demonstrate. Okay, well, there you have it. Of course, right when I shut the camera off, he jumps in. You guys can see him back there. There he goes. Apparently he's camera shy. And he's gonna go by the skin. So I'm gonna add a new toy since a lot of theirs are chewed. This is the Willow Cube that we have on our site, which is super cute. Um, I also wanted to show you something I used for their veggies. So the other night I used this for their veggies. It's technically a dog slow feeder bowl, um, but it's just this hard plastic honeycomb slow feeder bowl and I stuck the little veggies in here. I'll put a picture up on the screen, but it was super cute and I felt like it was somewhat um, of an enriching thing for them to like pluck the veggies out kind of like if they were like eating out of a garden or something. So I thought that was super cute. This is available on 101 Pets, so I will link this down below. Um, in here, it's not their veggie time, otherwise I would give them veggies, uh, but they eat veggies at night. Um, that was just their cute little bowl that I thought was adorable. Um, I am gonna go refill their water, uh, and then I think everything's good. Their shelf area, I'm gonna clean a different day because I'm already really out of breath. Um, so normally I do like one thing one day and then do something another day. Um, I think I have some TikToks up of me doing their shelf area if you wanna see, but yeah. There's enough water in here. Yes, perfect.
Okay, so I'm going to be, <laughs> uh, wow, I'm really tired. It's 10 o'clock at night, but I'm gonna be filling up the bunnies veggies for the week. Um, I'm a little bit late doing this. I normally would like to do this the day I buy the veggies, but I bought these two days ago, but that's okay. Um, life has been crazy. So we do what we have to do. Shoot, I'm missing a cover. But since I bought these two days ago, I only need five since they've already had two meals out of these veggies. So that makes seven meals in total. So I'm gonna start with arugula. This is um, organic girl arugula I bought at Publix. So I'm just gonna evenly disperse it into these five trays. Next we have this Baby Kale Spring Mix by Organic Girl, so also organic. Um, I try to buy organic when possible now that I live in Florida and there's actual organic veggies. Uh, so this just has spring mix and kale. And sometimes there's little bad pieces. That's okay. Just take that out rid of it. <laughs> Our cilantro, this is also um, organic and I bought two bunches of those. So with this, a lot of the times they have some bad ones in there so I like to pick those out. So I'm gonna disperse this between the five. Again, I don't measure anything, I just eyeball it. Next we have romaine lettuce. This is organic, I don't know if you can see. This is one of the first times I've used organic lettuce since the whole like 2020 organic issue, or not organic, 2020 romaine issue. So yeah, it took a lot of, a lot of years to get over that. So there hasn't been issues since then. So I just put one piece in each. Then I have some green leaf lettuce, which again is by the same company. It's organic. Obviously every store is gonna have a different brand. Um, some of this is starting to get bad, so I will pluck that off. Last, we have this organic red chard. It's not very healthy, so I'm not sure how much I can salvage. Um, I use Instacart to buy my groceries, so I don't get to pick out what they give me, so it's a little unfortunate. I should probably find a better method, but I have not. So if something looks bad, I just pick apart the pieces that look good. Um, I probably could have gotten a refund on this, but I haven't put the time in to figure that out. Okay, now I'm just gonna put the covers on and put it in the mini fridge. today's little um, get stuff done with me. This was recorded over a couple of days, just some like chores that like really needed to be done. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I know it's just boring chores, but maybe it was interesting to you. Um, I'll leave some links down in the description on some of the things I talked about. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.